what you guys do this right now with your USB flash drive. If you have a SanDisk USB flash drive, you'll notice that inside the USB flash drive, there's a piece of software. You should be using this piece of software because this encrypts the drive and keeps your data safe. Now, SanDisk have been around for many, many years and they've got different sizes and different speeds and also different shapes. So just make sure that you check out some of the links in the video description for some of the faster ones, which are these Ultra Flare. They're pretty affordable. You get 150 MBS, which is pretty good for everyday use, but you can keep your files private by using the SanDisk Secure Access software, which comes already inside the actual drive itself. Now, a lot of people probably just format the drive and remove these. Now, they come in different shapes and sizes. As I've said, this one is a tiny little 128 gig uh, drive here, 130 MBS. But as you can see, it's going to be very easy to lose and it's going to be also very easy to leave behind uh, a job that you've been on or something like that. Now, if you don't use the software that comes with it, which is called now Private Access, this is going to stop people from accessing the data on that USB flash drive. Now, depending on what type of data you're keeping on here, if you've got personal information, photos, or documents, it's essential that you use something like this to keep your documents safe. It's free to use, and it's free to use with SanDisk uh, drives. So I'm gonna take a look at this and show you how it works. Now, all the data on the drive will be lost once you start this uh, piece of software off. So let's download it and get it installed. It does work with Windows and Mac OS. So I'm gonna open the program up, and we'll get this put onto the actual drive itself. So I've already gone ahead and put this onto the drive. It needs to be on the drive physically. If you've opened up a brand new drive, you'll probably already see private access is already on there as an executable file. Go through the next process here and click and read the terms and conditions and then click OK. And this will open up the create a password. This is going to put a password on your USB flash drive. You can see here they want you to use more than six characters, uppercase and lowercase, uh, numeric and alpha characters, and also use special characters. Now, once we've got our password done here, it's important to remember that you must remember this password, otherwise you're not going to gain access to the data inside the vault. So I would give yourself a password hint if you're not great with passwords. Now, once you've got this done here, I'm just going to click OK here. And there's four ways to protect your files. Drag and drop onto the main screen. Copy and paste onto the main screen. We also have the Add Files button to browse and add files to the drive and use the backup data to safeguard your data against loss. So this is the actual application here. It's very simple. All you need to do is either do one of those methods to get your files into the My Protected Files area. So I'm going to create a folder on here. You can right click and you can create a folder. Now the My Protected Files area is going to act like a container which is encrypted and it will stop people from gaining access. So let's go ahead and create a folder inside here. You don't need to create folders. You can just drag and drop files in here if you want to. But if you want to organize your drive a little bit better, it's always best to um, you know make some folders here. So I'm just going to make one so you can see exactly what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to create one called private docs and inside how drive now we can see this is what it looks like. You must have the private access dash win dot exe or Mac version on your USB flash drive and run it from there. You can see the private access vault and we can also see the private access settings. This is all going to be encrypted. You are not going to be able to gain access to it once we log out of this. So bear that in mind. So what I'm going to do here is go back to the private docs and we're going to now copy in some data in here. Now this can be adding files, it can be adding photos, documents, whatever you want to add to your USB flash drive. It works exactly the same way as it would without the uh, private access software. So let's go in here and put in two files. These would be just images I'm going to put inside here and we'll encrypt these onto our USB flash drive. So let's go ahead and put them on there. Once they're here and we've got them on our drive, we can still open these and access them from here once we're logged in. But as soon as we log out, these will be encrypted and the people that are trying to access it will need to use your password. 
So up the top here, we've got some navigation buttons, just your usual uh, copy paste and stuff like that. And uh, these are the simplicity of securing your files on a USB flash drive. So you can see here the vault protection is AES128, which is pretty good for free. And uh, we can go up here and uh, we've got some navigation buttons up here to do some stuff. And we can change our password and you can even upgrade to the full version now the full version is going to give you a much more stronger encryption i'll quickly show you this just in case you are interested on how much it costs so you can see here secure your files on all your devices and the special offer is by enc security for sandisk customers and you can see it's going to be supporting all your sandisk uh, devices so right down here is 14.99 lifetime license and what this is going to do is give you a bit more security, basically, if if you think that the AES-128 is not enough, you can go ahead and purchase the full version. This is not a, uh, you know, advertisement for SanDisk, even though it sounds like it because we're talking about SanDisk drives. It's because this software is only compatible with SanDisk drives. But you can see here, encrypted and backed up restored data in a vault, and it will encrypt it up to 128-bit encryption. That's pretty good for most people. They're not going to need the full version. So if you want to use the free version, you can do. If this is not good enough for you and you don't have a SanDisk drive, you can always use my other method using Veracrypt. So let's take a look. We've logged out now and uh, the files are on there. Let's go to our USB flash drive here. And we're going to go in here. And this is what it looks like once you're logged out. So if you drop this uh, key in the street and someone picks it up and they take it back to their house, and they plug it into their computer and they're trying to access this data, they are going to find that the data has 120 bit AES encryption on here. And no matter what they do to try and open it, it's not going to be able to open that file. Even uh, if they formatted the drive, they could theoretically use the drive again, but they'll never be able to recover the data on that drive. And just to reinforce how good 128 bit AES encryption key is, if you try to brute force uh, this uh, document and try to find a way to get into it, it would take 1 billion billion years to crack that 128-bit AES encryption with a supercomputer. So it's not going to be possible for anyone to basically gain access to this. It's pretty secure. And this is with the free version when you buy a SanDisk drive. So to gain access to your documents, you will need to make sure that you know your password and make sure it's a secure password. And once you get your secure password, you can log in and you can then gain access and copy those files to anywhere you want, anywhere around the world. If you plug it into any computer, it's going to be completely safe. It's also safe against ransomware. If ransomware tries to encrypt uh, the data on that drive because it's encrypted already, it's not going to be able to do anything with those files. And as you can see, we can gain access to these now, open these up. I can drag these onto any computer or any device I like. And once I'm finished, I can log out and it will be securely locked and no one's going to be able to gain access to it. I can delete files on here, move them to another folder, whatever I want to do, and you can back them up as well. So it's pretty secure and it is free and it does come with SanDisk drives. So if you've not uh, set this up yet yeah, it's very important that you do because if you have that usb flash drive and you drop it somewhere or leave it somewhere someone's going to be able to gain access to it whereas if they try to gain access uh, to the data with this method they are not going to be able to gain access to it and all your data will be safe even if you left your bank details on a little note document in there which i wouldn't advise but they still won't be able to gain access to that data now, of course, this means it's not tied to any one computer because it is portable because it's installed on the actual flash drive itself. There's a vault in there or a container, which is what it's known as, and basically it's encrypted. So if you was uh, going to a place where you need to gain access to a password, which you have stored on that USB flash drive, you can then log in and quickly gain access to that password and use it and then basically uh, lock your machine down now let's just say someone found it and they thought they would be able to format the drive which they can they can format the drive and all the data will be gone even if they use data recovery software they will not be able to recover data because it will still be encrypted on that drive so it's impossible to recover data but they might be able to use the drive for other purposes 
Other than that, I think that is going to be about it. That is why it's important to always secure your USB flash drives in this manner, using whatever method you like. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to RTX Brody, David Lees, Waleed, PC Repair Tech, Edward Kelly, Albert Hewson, Celtic Lad, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.